Hey folks, Atreus Mike here, playing some more of the Talos Principle. We're still in C1, uh, though we've kind of explored the hidden terminal and whatever that little glitchy room was that had Elohim speaking possibly like a power-hungry uh, madman. And we are presented with this puzzle that I believe if you've played the... Um, That if you've played the demo, you are familiar with how to find the solution to... <sighs> okay. I will need this over here. And I will need that other block. I might need another block, too. I'm not sure. Admit that I'm currently somewhat <sighs> confused as to what the exact path is going to be here. Partly because it has been a month or more, or well, nearly a month, since I originally completed a variation on this. Can I see? Is there a. There is not an angle that I can tell that I can see how I might get to both of those from just there but I don't think I need to need to connect you connect you So I do need the other block, because I think if I had another block, would they both float? And actually, can I, you know, place it on top of another, another stacked block? Not like that. See the uh, the demo version of this puzzle had that over on like this wall, and so you could just see straight over it. It would move just exactly where you needed it to be. Okay. Is there a place where I can see both points of? I need a third block. I am, of course, assuming that my thought on how to do this is correct. I could be completely wrong. Well, first I actually need to take this and set it over here. It is important that you can set these up without Still not high enough? Maybe I'm just wrong on what I'm doing here? 
because there is a ledge up here. <clears throat> and that is now totally self-sustaining. Uh, oh. What if I put that there? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. You can add cubes after the fact. Interesting. Huh. Weird. Well, let's go on to this one I've been sort of dreading. Just because it's yet another puzzle with none of the devices in it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The serpent wants to talk to us. Oh, you, come ba you came back to keep me company. Okay, then. Humor me with a little hypothetical. Imagine that a few hours from now, you climb to the top of that tower. There's a flash of light. Then magic happens. Then you find yourself in the real world, living whatever you take to be a normal life then. What would you do then? <clears throat> Probably what's best for me. Yes, that was the general impression I was getting off you. Good, perhaps we won't have to work so hard at this after all. Before we continue, though, I want to double-check that we're on the same, wa same wavelength here. Suppose you get out there with all the human beings. What you're going to do is rinse them for all they've got without a care for a soul? I'll only do what's best for me within a moral framework. Ah, uh, so you do have scruples, af some scruples after all. So tell me, this obligation you feel, is it only applicable to the real world, or does it apply here as well? It's actually kind of a tough question. I'm not sure whether to say that they only apply under special conditions or are universal, because they're kind of universal, but there are definitely places where they break. say they're universal. What a magnanimous dictator you would make. Of course, I'm sure it would take a dictator to enforce a single moral code on the entire universe. Well, come on then, what's your magic formula of choice? And let me warn you that this time, you're going to have to choose just one. The more equal everyone's share, the better. The more goodness in the world, the better. Consequences don't matter, our reasons do. I see no way to explain what I believe. Personally, I kind of feel that the more goodness in the world, the better. Ah, that old chestnut. So what? just what is this goodness you're seeking to maximize? Ah. I feel like all of the above is the idealistic answer, and the realistic one is I'm not in a position to solve these problems. Admitting the problems are beyond your comprehension and is the first step towards letting go. I will allow you to contemplate these matters further before contacting you again. Okay, so what do we have before we take a step anywhere? Okay, we have a door, a, a jammable doorway with, as far as I could tell, there wasn't anything directly behind it, but it did lead into another one. And there we have a mine doing its miney business. There we have a jammer not doing its jammy business yet. Here we have another floating mine. Lots of doors here. 
We see keys anywhere. See more mines. Oh, I see another jammer over that way. I have a feeling we're gonna have to jam that door and do some sneaking of some sort. Although that's got a turret over there too. Holy crap, man. I'm only one man with the jammer. What's over here? Anything in here? Anything. Anything I can use? Anything I can see? Nope. Oh, there's another jammer over here. So once we get jammer number two, we can totally get at that. If we can't already get at it, but I don't think we can. No. Let's see that doorway is that way. Part of the problem with half of these things is trying to piece together what the actual layout of the level is. <clears throat> now, there's nowhere with some sort of special thing that I'm obviously supposed to like jam something through that I can see yet. Take a look at you. Oh, you're locked. You float down through here. Oh, oh crap. That was a mine. <sighs> Alright. That's why I dislike these levels. See, I can't see back over there to know what its path might be. So, we're going to go ahead and jam this right now. should just wait it to make sure. So getting that key, once we do get it, frees up a spot. I almost wish you could save state. We're, we're theoretically in a computer, aren't we? immediately blown up again. in there.
Oh crap. <sighs> Seriously? <sighs> this is just discouraging. Just discouraging. I'm gonna come back to this. I'll be honest. I don't want to do it right now. I'd rather actually explore more of this world at the moment. Well, we have our first uses of platforms. Yes, yes. Our good friend, Mr. Computer. <coughs> A graveyard? said the game got, you know, crazy eventually. I thought they just meant mind-blowing puzzles. Apparently not. What were these messages over here? Question. Suppose everything here serves a precise role in some grand scheme. How would we explain that? It's obviously like a digital time capsule, an electric library of all the crazy stuff the humans ever did, left behind to warn other species to stay away. I don't think we've ever seen this neat chi before. So what happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. They existed and then they didn't, and they probably wouldn't do it all over again. Elohim is inconsistent. I don't trust him. Says, yes man. Are you another glitchy doorway? No. Screen tearing, but that's just because, you know, V-Sync's not on. What the heck is this place? I thought I knew, but... I'm not so sure anymore. <clears throat> for those of you who have faithfully followed this blog for the last five years, I just wanted to give you one final update. I'm going to spend my remaining time with my family. Yeah, I know, I know. There are probably 50 plus posts about all the problems I've had with them, but in the end, they are my family. They are the people I grew up with, the people I care about, the people I love. Sure, they annoy the hell out of me. They've said awful things to me, and I've said awful things to them. But that doesn't change who we are. In fact, if we didn't care about each other, this stuff wouldn't upset us. Do I still think they were wrong? Yeah, absolutely. Would I behave differently if I thought we all still had a lot of time? Definitely but we don't, so I'd rather spend a couple of weeks sitting on the porch with my parents and my sisters than being angry and alone. Besides, it's not like we're going to fight about my job prospects anymore. 
If you can, try to make peace with those you love. It's your last chance. Thanks for reading. Alan from Alan Jameson Institute for Applied Pneumatics to Fran. Last days. You know what the oddest thing about is about all this? We're not constantly fighting, having nervous breakdowns, screaming at each other. We're actually really polite and focused. And we spend most of our time debating the nature of humanity and how we can best succeed at probably the most ambitious thing anyone's ever tried. Like it was completely normal. Like that's just how people are. I feel like we've turned into Star Trek characters or something. I guess... What's the point of doing anything else? Getting angry isn't going to help, but I didn't expect to feel like this at all. And you know what? It's awesome. Many greetings and good luck. Alan. P.S. Love from George. So more about the end of humanity's time, so to speak. Okay, we got a block and connector puzzle right over here. This appears to be Did I hear something. No. I don't think I did. This does appear to be a completely enclosed area, so there's not a lot to explore here. At least without breaking out of one of the puzzles, potentially. Cemetery. Oh. Okay. Remember, just because it's a block and connector puzzle doesn't mean there can't be dangerous stuff in it. just means that there tends not to be mines. <clears throat> Note I said tends not to, and at least these are just the fun little buzzer things. Which means a heck of a lot of figuring out what the right angle to place something is. figuring out which of these we might need to block. Oh, it looks like... see in a second connector here because I'm not oh wait there's one not sure where that is somewhere in there Probably have to get the second block. Yeah, I pretty much need to go 
from there to there. Probably going to have to grab my block from here. I can go over here and get this other block. Exactly instant death, at least. Probably just meant more to be obstacles since they can move. There isn't one like right there that wants to move in front of everything. Hmm. Alright, well we're done with cemetery there. And it looks like that wraps up another episode for us. Uh, thanks for joining me. Next time... Uh, I guess we'll uh, start to get involved with some pretty crazy looking stuff and use the last gained of our six uh, things here. <laughs>